Hi guys, you are all aware that a question almost always pops up from the topic oxygen therapy. So let us quickly recall some important points from this topic. Oxygen therapy devices are classified as low flow devices and high flow devices. So first up, the low flow devices. These devices do not provide a fixed FiO2 to the patient. The FiO2 delivered is dependent on oxygen flow rate and patient's breathing pattern and depth. So the first device here is nasal cannula. It can deliver a flow of 0.5 to 6 liters to the patient per minute and FiO2 provided is 40% max. The next device is face mask or the Hudson's mask. Here the flow rates can be adjusted from 5 to 10 liters per minute and the maximum FiO2 delivered is 60%. And the last low flow device for the day is NRBM mask. This is commonly used for transport of the patient and we can deliver oxygen at a rate of 10 to 15 liters per minute. And the maximum FiO2 delivered using NRBM mask is 100%. So coming on to the high flow devices, these devices always provide a fixed preset FiO2 to the patient which is independent of oxygen flow rate and patient's breathing pattern. So the common examples, first one, Venturi mask. Here a fixed flow rate of 2 to 15 liters per minute is achieved and maximum FiO2 that is delivered is 60%. Second device is bag valve mask resuscitator or the AMBU device. The maximum flow rate of oxygen that can be kept is 10 to 15 liters per minute and it can deliver 100% FiO2 with 15 liters flow. And the last device for the day is HFNC that is high flow nasal cannula. Here the flow rate can be adjusted from 15 to 60 liters per minute and the FiO2 delivered is adjusted from 21 to 100 percent. 